thing to be musical. Jim, Tommy, can you hear me? Yeah, keep talking. Tommy, get on the mic, man. Get right up on that thing. Get, come on, bad mic technique. <laughs> He's not a, used to being on that side of things. You should take a class. <laughs> This is actually weird, like being on this side of it, because I I'm never on this side of it. Okay, hang on, gotta find where the hell I was supposed to read. Okay, here we go. Creating distortion, creating distortion or overdrive. You can achieve interesting distortion sounds ranging from loose tube overdrive to light discrete distortion. Very you very input selector switch to the desired input source and plug in your input source to the corresponding input. Set all knobs to the unity position and disengage all push button switches. Slowly turn to create the output tighter control distortion by also overdriving the signal the is at a comfortable level sure of the output control. control. To, to create tighter clockwise. distortion by turn also the overdriving the equalizer or less session. distortion. Okay, how much farther do you want me to go on this? Fully counter switch to engage the EQ. Set base shelving frequency switch to engage the EQ. Set base shelving. Damn it. All right. Using the Optio Compressor. The Optio Compressor of the VT737S sidechain has all of the standard features, features of basic operation, operation compressor is as follows. Deesser, sidechain the compressor. and pre-post EQ Push switching. Basic this operation is as follows. I'm going to read about beer now. All we're going to read is just read that there. This whole section? Can you stay in here for a second, Ward? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> what are you reading? Reading about a little bit of beer, some Irish stout. Nice. All right. Gentle caramel and coffee aromas fill the nose. Well, the ketones. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny to me. Caramel Gentle caramel and coffee malts. aromas. Fill Bitter the sweet chocolate. Well, the ketones. Found espresso it. coffee. In 1792, Usually, Beamish uses a fortune's warned throughout the 20th wheat century wheat in the brew and until <laughs> fortune's warned throughout the 20th century <laughs> until 1962, Beamish and Crawford was bought by Canadian Brewing, Carl and O'Keefe. <laughs> Alright. I paid my dues for the day. was founded in 1792. <laughs> <laughs>